Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Madeline Schmidt. A few weeks ago, drivers were seeing red after a downtown Albuquerque traffic study popped up overnight. Lead Avenue suddenly became one lane. A city councilor told News 13 he had nothing to do with the botched study, but emails from the city revealed that's not entirely true. News 13's Jeannie Nguyen is here to explain. Madeline, the lead and coal traffic study cost taxpayers about $18,000, yet it only lasted three days. The city and Councillor Isaac Benton blamed each other for the mess it caused. Last month, orange and white barrels showed up along lead between 2nd and 6th streets, narrowing it from two lanes heading into downtown to one. The barrels also went up on coal. The sudden change to the road especially led frustrated drivers. At the same time, the city's municipal development department told News 13 this was a test conducted by Councillor Isaac Benton. But Benton said he only requested the study for coal, not lead. I'm just making it clear that I did not ask for any cones to be put up on lead. The city told us that lead and coal are dependent on each other, so they both needed to be studied at the same time. Now, emails reveal that the city had been in regular contact with Benton's policy analyst, Diane Dolan, and Dolan approved the coal and lead project on September 5th. The project was to study downtown walkability and was meant to last for two weeks, but again, the cones came down just after three days and it cost $18,000. Madeline, back to you. All right, Jeannie, thank you. Tonight on News 13 at 10, we'll tell you how Councillor Benton responded to News 13's inquiry about the Dolan email approving the project on both roads.